How to avoid war and fix the world. Tell the teenagers the truth about everything. Tell them that indoctrination or purposefully manipulating minds so that they think in a certain way is evil. Tell them that God is made up for as many reasons as people have problems. Tell them that they will be sent to war, maybe under mandatory draft, and that God and country is just another pacifier. The only way to win a war is to protect all the young people from indoctrination, granting them authentic and effective education, and letting them grow free. Their education is certainly not effective today. They actually get tricked into inventing cramming and cheating and pretending to learn. And each time they pretend to learn or watch their teachers let them slide, all they are doing is greasing the wheels for those evil men who will send them to war. Unless war is prevented decades ahead, it is teenagers from one indoctrination versus teenagers from another indoctrination fighting for ghouls who brood those systems of thought precisely for their own disgusting gain and glory. When people cross the line of prevention, when they do nothing but let a nation faster, it is only for money. War has tragic and great meaning for those who are trapped in it, who have been lost in it, but not for those who created it. They have neither heart nor soul, just hunger, hunger for more, 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 more. War rejuvenates all the participating economies eroded by the parasites in charge. They almost cultivate failed states. They almost dream of war. Our job is to protect young people, not use them. Talking about indoctrination, fake education, religions, and more wars goes a long way to help the children understand the importance of self-education. and That is really all they can really, truly, deeply rely on. It won't take long before they are reading about war, about what religions got away with, and the injustice that they still cause today. They will read about fake education and how teachers are just pretending that they know what they are doing, how the curriculum is for performance only and will actually interfere with authentic education. To learn for real means to actually fail in a fake school. And programming is the first safety net that they should master. It seems poverty is mandatory, certainly celebrated by the ghouls, and we are pretty much all poor on purpose. Because this works, it has worked forever and a half, and it creates a workforce, and it does power economies, no questions asked. It works because it induces terror of living on the street, of being hungry, of being shamed, of feeling worthless. And being able to create software greatly eases that fear, manufactured or not. It sets them free from the great threats of poverty. It is a mode of expression, a kind of art that allows for impossible dreams. Tell the teenagers next time they are in art class to look beyond the empty chatter head to the projector above. That is the camera obscura, a truly deeply authentic path to full mastery of art. Let that be a symbol for how teenagers are betrayed in school by no less than the very man who sold the world. Tell the teenagers about the real graduation, the great triple crown, an achievement 
that is actually worthy of the creatures of the stars that we are. With a powerful narrated book allowing them to inherit wisdom at every step, an intellectual inheritance that truly does belong to them, they cross the Appalachian, Pacific Crest, and Continental Divide trails. With every hard-earned step, setting the angle of an upwards path, the mountain to climb for the rest of their existence, so that they may grow all the way up until they become great beings, and with their genius and brilliance, break the world out of the cycle of wars and greed, and set course for advancement of humankind that will do the future justice.